hey y'all hey y'all hey welcome or welcome back to my channel i am mika for those who are new and today as you can tell by the title i'm going to be showing you guys how to meal prep for the week while on keto so today i'm going to be cooking up some chicken breast some steak and some veggies and I'm just going to find different ways to actually incorporate that for throughout my meals for the whole week to make it easier for me. And it helps me actually maintain and stay on track. So you guys come along with me and watch me as I meal prep for the full week, Monday through Friday. Maybe that's not the full week. Okay, I'm missing a couple of days, but I don't know if it's going to last me that long, but Come along with me as I meal prep. Oh, and another thing about that is I'm up bright and early on this morning. Like it is, I got out of bed at 8.30, so I'm about to start cooking. And I'm super proud of myself that I'm going to get it out the way early. Because usually when I do meal prep, I'll probably start like 3 because I'm cooking dinner. And then I'll keep going. So then the next day I'm so tired when it's time for me to go back to work. Because I haven't been up all day, um, all night actually, cooking food. But I decided to get my day started earlier this week. So I'll be so glad for you guys to come along with me and watch as I meal prep. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them down below. And don't forget to comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy this video. See you in the next slide show. I'll see you in the next scene. Bye. Okay, so to go ahead and get started on my meal prep, I have four chicken breasts here, and I'm going to just slice this in half to make more and actually thin the meat out. Now, I did go ahead and pre-wash my meat already, and I um, patted it dry with a paper towel just so the water doesn't um, run everything everywhere from when I washed it. So there we have it, sliced in half. And I'm going to do that with each one. Okay, so for my thicker pieces, what I went ahead and did is I placed my chicken into a freezer Ziploc bag. And then I'm just going to take a uh, mallet. I think that's what this is called. Not sure. And just bang this in thin it out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and season our chicken up. To start off, I'm gonna use very basic seasonings because I'm going to be using this chicken for different meals. I find that it's the easiest, it's to find a meat and find different ways to, um, to incorporate it throughout the week. So I'm gonna be making a chicken and steak stir fry one day. Um, going to have a chicken salad and probably just grilled chicken and veggies so the first thing that i had was garlic powder then i used a little bit of adobo i'm going to have some black pepper here some sazon and you can use whatever seasonings that you like these are just my go-to and what i prefer onion powder and use as little or as much as you like I like a lot of seasoning because I like to taste it um, want some flavor some complete seasoning and I put complete seasoning basically on everything I love complete seasoning it's so good and then last but not least I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika so that is my um, chicken and I know you guys see me do this before. I always like to just dab the other side on the side that I season. That way I don't make it like super, super, super salty or um, too powerful in the flavoring. But yeah, that's just always what I do. Mm -mm. And then flip it over and then you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side of your chi uh, chicken and just season that up 
as well. Coke and rum, you stay up Open up, come on, don't wait up Cause I'm way too gone, don't wait up, wait up I'm way up on the coke and rum, you stay up Open up, come on, don't wait up Alright, so now I have my oil heating up And I'm going to go ahead and take my chicken And drop it in Bang bang, they wonder can I get some? What I got for everyone? Yeah, sit down and get to know the sofa. Stand up when shit is taking over. Right, so the second piece of meat that I'm gonna prep, start prepping while my cooking is chicken is just some stir fry beef that I have, and it came a cut up already like this um, from the store. I went ahead and washed this, and I pat that dry also as well with a paper towel. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this in half. seasoning I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and then I'm going to add basically some of the same seasonings I have garlic powder here I have seasoned pepper instead of the regular black pepper I'm going to take some of my pink Himalayan salt Onion powder, some complete seasoning, a little bit of smoked paprika. So this is different from um, just the regular. This is the smoked paprika. And then I am going to take my steak seasoning as well. And then last, I'm just gonna add a little bit of parsley, you know, just because. And I'm gonna go ahead and add, actually, the last thing is gonna be some Worcestershire, Worcestershire, however you say that. I'm gonna put a, some, a dash of that in there as well. I also added that to my chicken once it, um, once I had it brown on both sides. You guys didn't see that, but I just wanna go ahead and make note that I did add that to my chicken as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up and get this well coated. And then I have a pan on the stove with some Kerrygold butter in it and that is heating up getting prepared for the steak now some of the steak is going to go in my chicken stir fry dish but some of the steak i'm going to use for a salad as well later on this week um for a black and blue like a steak black and blue salad idea so this is another way you take like i said basic meat and you cook them and just prepare them different ways. This way, you won't get tired of the same dish and you're not just eating the same dish. But it's less work because you're taking one meat and just cooking it different ways. So, well, cooking it all the same way, basically, but putting it in different dishes. But this is the best way that I know how to meal prep. And meal prepping for 
any weight loss plan, anything is going to lead to the best success. So you definitely want to set yourself up for success earlier in the week and get everything prepped up. But here is my steak and we're going to go ahead and add this um, to the pan. Okay, so here is my chicken. I went ahead and plated it up and you're gonna want it um, to rest for a, a little bit before you cut into it. So I have some foil here, if I can get it out. <laughs> I am struggling with the foil, okay. And I'm just gonna cover it. So I just put it on a plate and I'm gonna cover this. And then I have a second batch of chicken that I need to go ahead and cook up. So, yep, we're gonna go ahead and cover this, allow all the juices to soak in. There we go. All right. Okay, so here is the steak. I went ahead and added that, as you can see, the Kerrygold's butter down there, and then a little bit of that olive oil still cooking in it, so I have the mixture, so it's gonna be nice and moisturized. What did you say? But yep, I'm just turning it up. And I like my steak medium. Um, and I actually do it this way as well. Like I prefer, like I eat it like that when I'm in the restaurants and I prefer it like this too because anytime that you're warming up steak, I feel like you're cooking it more and more. So if I cook it like super well done right now, then by the time I eat it, it's gonna be rubbery. So I'm just gonna cook it with a little bit of pink. So each time that I warm it up, it's cooking just a little bit more. Now right now, I'm not leaving it how it is now. That's too rare for me. But you guys will see it um, once it's all done and how it looks but I'm gonna go ahead and let this rest and cook this up and then I'm going to take the rest of my chicken that I have cooking over here if you guys can see and I'm going to put this add this to the other plate that I have and let that rest under the foil as well so over here, you see this is the juices from that chicken, and I never turned it off. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of garlic to that, and I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together and get my garlic cooking. And to this, I'm going to add my cauliflower rice. I did not um, decide, I decided not to, um, you know, clean it out first or anything like that because I want the flavors from that chicken to be added to the cauliflower rice. Now the cauliflower rice, the one that I'm using is one that I got from Costco. It's a organic rice cauliflower stir fry and it already comes with a sesame ginger sauce on it. But to add a little bit more flavor because usually what we do use with stir fry is a sauce. I wanted to have that chicken um, flavors still remaining in the pot. So I'm gonna cook this up a little and then I'm gonna go ahead and get my stir fry added. So this is the cauliflower that I'm using, the organic rice cauliflower. As you can see, it is mixed with peas, corn, and red bell peppers and tossed in the sesame ginger sauce. And this is what it looks like when it comes out the pot or with the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the pot. Okay, okay, so here is the steak. As you can see, it's steaming up the bowl. But this is the steak and I do have a little bit of pink um in here as well like i said i do not like steak well done and the more you cook it it's just going to more you warm it up it's going to cook some more anyway but this is a steak and then i have my rice going and once my rice is done i am all done with the cooking portion of my meal prep the rest is just plating it and of course for salads you have nothing but lettuce so the cooking portion is all done all right, you guys, I'm coming back with a voiceover because Braylon is up now and she is completely active and yelling all through the house. So here you can see I'm just going ahead and slicing up my chicken. I did let that rest, I would say about 30 minutes to an hour because I went ahead and prepped everything else. But I'm going ahead, slicing that up, getting that prepared for my meals for the week. And then after I cut up my chicken, I'm going to go ahead and start with prepping my my veggies which is going to be little snack bags for me throughout the week i'm way up on the coke and rum you stay up open i'll come home don't wait up cause i'm way too gone don't wait up wait up i'm way up on the coke and rum you stay up open i'll come home don't wait
Now that I am all done with my cook food, I'm going to go ahead and start prepping my little snack packs for the week. And for my snack packs, I'm going to be using a variety of vegetables. So I have celery, the bell peppers, the little mini bell peppers that come in like red, orange, and yellow, and then also mini cucumbers. So after I cut everything and get it prepared the way that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and put it in my salad spinner. And yes, you can use your salad spinner for more than just lettuce and I'm going to put some very very cold water and squeeze a little lemon in that and that is just how I like to prep and clean my veggies. You'll never feel the way I feel You don't know if my love is real Baby, listen to me, here's the deal When you're not here, I'm not the same I'm needing a new chapter, babe Been stuck here in a bed for days I've been staring at the telephone Cause when you're gone, I miss your face Late o'clock, body talk There's no need to bring it Makes it better mm -hmm. Wreck and fall Tear apart Issues left behind Restart hey, Bring it right back Right back to me, baby No, we've been here before Give me the real this time No cat, no lies It's our own core Bring it right back Right back So now that my veggies are all out the way, I'm going to go ahead and start on my fruit. Braveland loves fruit, so this is really easy for me to go ahead and prep it in a van so I can just grab little bags out when she wants a snack or something. So for my fruit, I'm just going to have some strawberries and blueberries. Those are the only fruits that I have because those are keto friendly, plus they're delicious. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep those and get those clean the same way that I did with my veggies. Now you will see me add to my salad sp spinner a whole lemon and also some mint um, and I'm going to use that for my water but I went ahead and just prepped it up for the week as well and sometimes I do like to add strawberries to my water too so it tastes good to me but yep the lemon and the mint is definitely for my water so that can be ready to go when I need it <music> Okay, so I am all done with my meal prep, you guys. So I wanted to show you, I have my chicken cut up here and I'm going to use that. Like I said, I'm gonna mix it with broccoli one day this week. I'm gonna have the stir fry and I'm also gonna have salads. So I do have a bag, uh, like two, three bags of mixed salads, different ones, chopped, a regular garden salad um, in the refrigerator that I have with that. Then I have my, I have my steak right here. I'm gonna make a black and blue. 
going to mix it with the chicken so i have the chicken stir fry together and then i can also if i have enough have just steak and broccoli as one dish too so then i have my broccoli cooked up here and then i have my rice right here and that is the cauliflower stir fry rice that i cooked earlier and over here you saw me earlier prep all the veggies now all these bags do not have carrots in them some are just celery and cucumbers because carrots it can be really high in carbs i think for like three ounces it is like four net carbs so but i do my baby loves carrots so i did go ahead and make those little baggies for her ready to go um ready to go and then i put together a little dish of um ranch dressing the ranch dip so i can just show you guys how i will serve that when she's eating it or i'm eating it i'll have that on the side then i have a little bag of sweet peppers and with these sweet peppers i went ahead and pre-washed them but i didn't prep them for a snack i'm going to add some cream cheese in these and everything but the bagel seasoning and i'll have probably like a three of those um for one of the snacks but i didn't prep them but i did want to show you how I washed them and then over here I have my berries that I washed up I have blueberries and then I have strawberries that I washed up and those are going to be a snack for a snack for me and Braylon as well and as well as Melma if he wants it but I'm pretty sure he's like a banana and plum type of dude so he probably won't eat this and then here you guys saw me I pre-washed some mint for my water so I have my mint and a trick is so you can wash it ahead of time and just wrap it in a damp paper towel and you can put that in the refrigerator along with a lemon for my water as well so here is my uh, food for the week here is my food for the week and this is what I will be having. I hope this guys helped you out and gave you some meal prepping for keto ideas. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them back down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye.